Alright guys, what's up, it's Dr. here, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial or video on how to up your survivability. Step number one, easily to pay attention to what's going on around you and the sounds. Because the sounds in the game will let you know where they're coming from, and if you pay attention, you can see them breaking doorways and stuff like that. And like here, I knew there was a teammate in this room, which is why I looked here, and I was able to get the kill on her. So, that's step number one. Step number two, if you don't know how to roam, don't roam. Just don't pick a roaming character. Stay in the room and just protect the objective if you don't know how to roam correctly. Like, if you're new to the game, don't roam. Just stay in the room. And if you can, pick a shotgun because it's the easiest thing. If they run up on you, it's a one shot. You know what I'm saying? So that's number two. Step number three pre aim around corners. I cannot stress this enough. How many times I've died and how many times my teammates have died from not pre aiming around corners? That corner to get the three piece for the win. All right, you have to make sure you pre-aim corners because the whoever has first sights a lot of times can win the game. So that's one of the biggest things in this game and aiming for the head. As you saw, I got a headshot there. It could have been lucky. It could have just been me, you know, aiming. But if you know exactly where they are, it's the easiest way to get kills. You saw that two headshots right there. The easiest way to get kills in this game is headshots. Obviously, it's a headshot based game. So if you're aiming for the head every time and you just train yourself to aim in one spot, it'll be the easiest way to get kills. Trust me. So then step number, I don't even know what number step this is, but the next step of the game, play an operator that's going to be useful for the team. Okay. So the best thing you can do is have communication with your teammates so that you know which operators to go so you can help your team out the most. For example, if I'm if we have a Thatcher, if we, if we don't if we have a Thermite and a Hibana but no Thatcher, somebody on the team has to go Thatcher so that you guys can be able to get through the doors and stuff if they have a mute. So that's pretty much the best thing to do when it comes to surviving long. So one, staying in the objective, two, playing smart and listening to your surroundings, three, picking operators that would help your team, and four pre-aiming around corners that's the easiest way and the smartest way to play rainbow six siege so if you guys did like this video make sure you leave a like if you like the gameplay in the background make sure you leave a like if you want to play with me in the future just add me on uh xbox live at zerk guys and i'll see you guys pretty much later subscribe to join the lines then i'll see you